TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's a method of using magnets to stimulate the brain through the skull. Transcranial means that something is passing through the cranium, which is the part of the skull that encases the brain. You probably know what a magnet is, but in the context of TMS and brain stimulation, what do magnets do? Well, it helps to understand a little bit about electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles. When you see the classic illustration of an atom, electrons are the little things orbiting the nucleus. Electrons are constantly spinning, and each one can spin only up or down. Now, normally half of the electrons in any given area are spinning up, and half of them are spinning down, so they're in balance. We say that this isn't magnetic, but when a lot of electrons in an area are all spinning the same direction, then it is magnetic. Around a magnetically charged object is a magnetic field, basically an area of influence where other magnetically charged things can be attracted or repelled. So now that we understand magnets, how is it that magnets are used to stimulate the brain? Brain cells called neurons communicate with each other by using a code, on or off. A neuron turns on by producing a burst of electricity. Electricity is due to the movement of electrons. So, magnets and electricity are both properties that result from the behavior of electrons. And just like magnets are surrounded by magnetic fields, electrically charged objects are surrounded by electric fields. And here's where the two come together. These different types of fields can interact with each other. Transcranial magnetic stimulation works because magnetic objects can disrupt electrical fields. So, assuming that the thoughts running through your head are due to very coordinated electrical activity of neurons, what would happen if that was disrupted by a magnetic field? That's the principle behind TMS. Doctors or researchers take a magnet that looks like this, well, actually it looks like this, and wave it around your head, and then they sit back and see what happens. And a lot of things happen. Each brain is so different that even after years of research, we can't really generalize or say exactly what TMS does. In some epileptics who suffer from seizures, TMS improves their condition. In some people who are depressed, it makes them less depressed. In most people, especially people who aren't depressed or epileptic, the effects are so subtle that we have to study them very closely to see them. And sometimes we don't see any results at all. There are a few ways of stimulating the brain. What's cool about TMS is that it's non-invasive. This means that it doesn't require the patient to undergo brain surgery. It can be administered over the skin, and it passes right through the skin, bone, and everything else that keeps your brain safe. As you would imagine, this makes TMS a lot safer than surgical brain stimulation techniques. So that's transcranial magnetic stimulation, and how it works.